Hi, I'm Lauren D. Nelson with Outdoor Solutions. Here we are in Texas. We're doing our from field to table event for Upland Bird. Uh, they got a bunch of cranes, they got some everything. But right now we are gonna focus on this elk park. Now the park is something that my family didn't get too excited about and they loved it in the field quite often. Um, growing up, I've found that the heart is not to be left in the field. So when you gut and field dress your animal, take the heart, leave the outside layer called the pericardium on, it'll keep it nice and clean. When you get home, slice it at the bottom and peel it over the top like a t-shirt, take, you're taking off a t-shirt. When you get down to it, we have these things called the atriums. And that's where the blood goes in from the vein into the ventricles and the ventricles pump it back out full of oxygen through the aorta. All right, when you cut this open, when you clean one, first of all, you wanna cut off these atriums. We don't want that, that's junk. And then you can look down in there a little bit. And this vein, right next to it, is called the septum. And you bring your knife up through there and you get to the septum. And the septum is a big fleshy member that separates the two ventricles. This is totally a clean meat. You don't have to do much to it. Inside, these are the heart strings. They give the heart structure. They keep it from blowing up. They keep the cuspid valves going. And they're called the chordae tendinae. What I do to clean these out first, I cut, up, I cut the septum out. And then, you want to get all of these cordays out. Easiest way to do this for park fajitas, which is what we're going to make, is to cut them in strips. You've got your strip, the inside's already clean, the outside has this thin layer. Each and every strip, take that off. That's junk. Then you have a beautiful piece of flesh. With, that is already clean. Okay, now the heart is considered an organ muscle. Organs usually clean the blood, clean the system. A, a heart just pumps. It's a muscle that pumps. It really is going all of the time, so it really doesn't have a brain, so you don't have to worry which way you're cutting things. There's really no brain, it's just a muscle that is constantly working. And when you get all this cleaned up, you've got these nice, beautiful pieces. You can cut them into chunks like this. You can bread them with just a regular flour, egg, batter, bread them, make little nuggets out of them, dip them. You can leave them long like that. But today, we are gonna cut these up in strips, make fajitas, and if we had a giant heart, I would show you how to slice it and fry it about that thick in a nice pan and you have a nice little heart stew. Here's a tip. When you're cutting up your heart and you want to get all this light outside layer with the fatty tissue and the outside, not part of the pericardium, but the outside of the heart, you want to get it down to just plain red meat. If you cut it in strips and then cut it into the sizes, it's a lot easier to get that little piece off of there after you've cut it down than it is to try and skin it. We're all ready to make our heart fajitas. So our friend with Outdoor Solutions, Eduardo Garcia, makes these great Montana Max avocado oil and spice blends. Um, I am using today one part of the jalapeno, one part of the sweet, and two parts of the chili. I'll put that in a bit. But we're gonna cook everything with this really, really yummy avocado oil. This pan's been heating up. We don't need a whole bunch. That's going to be, I like avocado oil and that's just enough. Avocado oil has really high flash points, so it heats really hot. Hotter than most oil. Oh, let's figure it out. I like to put the veggies in first. I pre-cut up red pepper, yellow pepper, and sweet onion. And that's all. 
So when you go hunting, take this stuff with you. Spread your heart in there. When you hunt and you cut up your, your elk heart, and you bring a couple of peppers and a couple of onions with you, you can cook this on cast iron over the pan. You can use your bacon grease. You can use anything. Bring some tortillas. Make yourself a nice little meal. Okay, so this is gonna cook for a little bit while we're doing that. Here's the spice. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on there. This cooks fairly quickly. Tastes really good. All you need is a few spices, a little bit of oil action, a couple peppers and onion, and that elk heart, and you can make a campfire meal anytime. You don't even need a tortilla for this. You can eat this straight out of the pan. But today, since we have all the modern conveniences and all the really neat things that we can use, I have some creme fresh that we made. Add some chopped jalapeno, a little bit of cilantro, which if you know me, you know I don't love it. Have some lime and some sriracha sauce. And we're gonna put this on a little tortilla and we're gonna make it really good. Oh, this is one of my favorite things to do with heart. And it cooks, oh man, that looks so beautiful. Mm. Smells great. Just a hint of everything. Okay, you know things are coming to a head when your peppers and your onion are starting to get a little bit on the soft side, not have a loss of total crisp. And when your heart starts to come, the blood starts to come to the top. Like when you're doing a medium rare steak and it starts coming to the top, then you know. I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna plate some up. Just take a little bit. Put it on your tortilla. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Load them up a little bit. Let's make them pretty now. What do you want on yours? I'd put a little bit of lime. A squeeze of lime. Let's do some of this. Sriracha. Like jalapeno, not everybody does, so we'll just do one. Yeah, let's do two, they're pretty. Those are big ones. Creme fresh. Go crazy with this stuff, it looks neat. All right. For real, this is a bomb diggity. Cheers. There you have it. Heart fajitas, mini fajitas for everybody. Thank you. Go to our YouTube channel, Outdoor Solutions from Field to Table. Click like and subscribe. Thank you for coming and seeing us today.